If you are suffering from prolonged digestive problem or you often get upset stomach then this video is for you because in this video I am going to tell you how to keep your gut strong and healthy in a natural way. Welcome to Science Zoo. An unhealthy gut can lead to various diseases such as obesity, type 2 diabetes and heart disorders. Whatever I will tell you is scientifically proven and well researched. You may be aware that the millions of bacteria living in your gut team up together to keep your digestive system strong and they are collectively known as gut microbiota. To keep your digestive system strong, you have to keep your gut bacteria healthy and to keep your gut bacteria healthy, here is the secret. Eat dietary fibers. So what are dietary fibers and where can we get them from? Dietary fibers also called prebiotics are the food for the beneficial bacteria that live in our gut. If we eat enough amount of dietary fibers on a daily basis, our gut bacteria will be happy and they will keep our digestive system on track. We can get prebiotics from fruits, vegetables, beans and grains. According to FDA, an adult should eat at least 25 gram of dietary fiber per day. To meet this requirement, at least 50% of our food should be fruits, vegetables and salads. But in some medical conditions, prebiotics are not enough. You may have suffered from diarrhea or loss of appetite when you were on a course of antibiotics. These are some common side effects of antibiotics. That's because along with killing the infectious bacteria, antibiotics also kill some of our beneficial gut bacteria. To retrieve the beneficial bacteria in our gut, we need something called probiotics. Now, what are probiotics? Probiotics are foods that contain beneficial live microorganisms, mainly bacteria and yeasts. For example, yogurt and buttermilk that haven't been heat treated, fermented beans and fermented vegetables. Did you notice that all these food products are fermented? So does that mean all fermented products are probiotics? This might be disheartening for some, but everything that is fermented cannot be considered a probiotic. By definition, probiotics must contain a certain number of live bacteria that are beneficial. By eating probiotics, we can only top up the beneficial bacteria in our gut. But to maintain a balanced gut microbiota, we must eat prebiotics, that is dietary fibers. I am sorry if you don't like eating vegetables, fruits and salad, but that's the only way you can keep your digestive system strong. Hello everyone! Did you like this video? If yes, please share it with as many people as you can to help us in our mission to spread scientific awareness. If you are liking the type of videos we are making, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Let us know in the comments any suggestions or thoughts you have for Sciencey Soup. We will be waiting for your comments. See you soon!